Hi guys, I made it to Friday again. So what we're going to do tonight is I'm going to make a pie. I'm not going to have anything else with it. It's just going to be a nice, simple tea. Once the pie's made, we can just eat it whenever we want. So it's going to be a bacon and egg pie. Somebody was talking about it at work the other day and I thought, oh, I've never had that for years. So I'm going to do it as me nana used to do hers. Um, so I'll bring you down and have a look at the hardly any ingredients at all. Right, so what I've got here is I've got some cooking bacon. It's no different to any other bacon at all. Basically what it is, is when they come to the end, when I'm when they're slicing it, it's like, it's just like, you know, big, thick bits, little bits, whatever. So they put them as a pack. That was about, I think it was 173 for all of that bacon there. So for the pastry, this is dead simple. Whenever you make pastry, it's always half fat to flour. So for this, I've got 400 grams worth of plain flour and I've got 200 grams in total of fat. Now what I'm doing is, like I say, I'm doing my Nana's recipe. So there's some lard or shortening and some butter. So I've got 100 grams of each. I've got to put one egg in with this with some cold water and then the rest of the eggs will go nicely for inside the filling. So what we're going to do is, is I'll bring you over and we'll do the pastry first because that does need to rest. Right guys, so I've put the flour and the lard and the butter into the food processor. Now you can easily do this by hand. I've made pastry a hundred times by hand. You just rub the fat into the flour with your fingertips. Always your fingertips because that's the coldest part of your, your hand. And then... Um, once it's requires it looks like little breadcrumbs, then you add your liquids. But I'm just going to do this. Sorry, it's going to be a bit noisy. Right. That looks like I can just feel a tiny little bits in there. I also put in a... a a pinch of salt in there as well. I'm just going to put you down here where I get an egg. Pop you there. <coughs> I'll use the bowl that I had the um, the fat in to crack my egg into before it goes in there. Oh, that was a tough one. And one at open. So just pop the egg in. There you go. Just one egg. Don't even have to scramble it up. Put that in. Put this back on. And I do have some water in the jug here. I'm just going to put that in until it all comes to a, a boil. Just gonna have a yeah, that's perfect. So put those to one side, move that over a little bit, get rid of that, and I've got some cling film here. I'm just gonna take excuse arms. I have to be careful if you use one of these because of the, the sharp blade. I'm just gonna pop that out. <coughs> over there. All out there. You can eat mess, yeah. It looks like it's a bit too crumbly, but actually, that's you don't want it too wet, otherwise, you'll not be able to work with it later on. So all you have to do is just push it together like that. There we go. So it all starts to to come together. We'll do is we'll just wrap this. Oh, I've got a cling film here. There we go. Wrap this in the cling film and just squish it together like this. No biggie. Flatten it out a little bit because the more the more flat it is, the quicker it it um 
gets harder again in the fridge so i'm just going to pop that in the fridge for a little while get the pastry off my fingers and then we'll come back to you in a bit all right guys so i've just greased the tin that i'm going to use so i'm just going to put that to one side for now and we'll deal with this uh bacon now i am going to fry the bacon off first um because i like to have that little bit extra flavor and also it gets rid of any of the water that's in there so let's just have a, a little look at this bacon so like i say it's it's not actually cooking bacon it's the end bits that they couldn't get a decent slice out of now look at the thickness of that that's the sort of thing that you want so i'm going to get rid of some of this fat i mean the rest of it will probably render down in the frying pan but i don't want that much in there so what i'll do is i'll just get a bowl and get rid of that that out of the way a little knobbly bits there you don't want your pie too greasy and i want to keep them in pretty big chunks so i'd say about that size i'm going to get my pan on to start um, cooking these off get that warming up and I'll just crack on I mean there's too much bacon here for the pie but I mean who wouldn't make a bacon sandwich with that size bacon in it right. so let's have another look what else have we got another big thick bit like that so i'm just gonna cut the rest of this up and start frying it off and i'll come back to you guys i'm just gonna quickly wash my hands here before i touch the camera because that wouldn't be a good idea and i'll see you in a couple of minutes hi guys so i'm going to do this in batches that's the um the bits of fat in a little bit of bacon still on there but you know what you could do is and i might actually do it is put it in a little pan on a very very low heat and render the fat out then you've got bacon fat for whatever you want to make so i'm, gonna, I'm not going to waste it so i've got the first lot of bacon already frying and i'll bring you across to have a look at that and to be honest there's not that much um water's come out of it in fact just a tiny bit so i don't want to cook this bacon i just want to fry it off and then we'll let it cool i think that's enough for that one bring it down here slightly i know you're a bit far away but i wanted it on the bigger hob you see and i'm just going to do this another two batches I think right so I'm just going to continue with that guys and once all that's done I'll put it in the bowl let it cool and then once the um, the pastry is rested for at least half an hour then we'll get on the bacon the pie. But as you can see how easy it is. And this bacon is lovely to be honest. Right, so I'll bring you back once this is all fried off a little bit. Right guys, so this has had about what 45 minutes in the in the fridge. So I'm just gonna um roll this out. Oh covered but I'm already covered anyway so it doesn't make any difference so what we'll do is we'll take about three quarters of this even about that much for the top that for the bottom wrap that back up pop that over there so because of the shape of my um, the pan I'm going to use we want it to be oh. 
that out of the way. There we go. It is a bit short, this pastry, which means that it's a bit crumbly. But it's a better mouth feel while you're actually eating the pastry. with a new rolling pin but this was Ian's mum's so you know she left she wanted us to have it there we go it's looking good just swizzle it around a little bit still see the little bits of butter in there exactly what you want so I'm just going to get my tin right, so I think I need it a bit more that way but I think there's enough this way so just there we go again I think that's I think we're about there guys to be perfectly honest right just that up there like that get the tin if you can hear anything in the background that's that bacon fat I decided that I was going to render it down after all so that's just nice quietly doing that well not quietly but it's doing that in the background so just sort of lift it in the one thing about having nails is this isn't the best for when you're trying to do a pastry so what I normally do is get a bit of pastry like that and then just push it all into the corners or if it was around all the way around Go. Just tease it in there and if you get a breakage in your pastry just fill it in because I've already done that at one point I think my nail still caught it as you can see if you can see it there just take a little bit of pastry on there fill in the gap there we go just fill the gap in and there it is now what I'm going to do guys I'm just going to pop this quickly in the fridge while I roll out the lid try and keep it as cold as what I possibly can and then we'll roll out the, the, the lid right guys so I've rolled out the lid that's just there waiting so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to crack four eggs into here. A handful of shell there. I didn't do that very well. But at least it was in my hand and not in here. Right, so some of this is going to be for the filling, but it's also going to be for the egg wash around the top as well. I, I mean, then I used to put three in and then another one to do the egg wash, but then you always had some left over for the egg wash. So what did you do with that egg? So this is why I do it. So just scramble that up. A little bit of salt I need to fill this up not too much salt because you've got the bacon in there but to be honest I did have a little taste of that bacon and it's not that salty get some black pepper or you could use the white pepper whatever it is that you want to use nice grind of pepper in there I'm just going to put a dash of cream only because I've got it 
normally it would just be a little bit of milk right so that's that bit done so what I'll do is, is I'll get the base out of the fridge and we'll get building a pie Hey guys so there's the base so what I'm there's the the cooked bacon so I'm just gonna put half of this bacon in here just spread it around evenly so every little cut will get a bit of bacon a bit of egg Oh, and I've got, uh, I forgot to tell you as well, I've, I've also got the oven up the temperature at about 180. So I'm just going to pour about half of this in here. Just let that settle wherever it wants to settle. Just move it about a little bit. Now... You didn't think that was going to be the only eggs, did you? In a baking an egg pie? Absolutely not. So, now what we do is, is we break whole eggs in here. Just be gentle. This was a round one, I'd probably only put three of these eggs in, but as it's the square one that I'm doing today, I'm going to do four. See, to me, this could either be a picnic pie or a breakfast pie. I mean, come on. <coughs> right, the rest of the bacon just gently try not to burst them yolks and don't forget the the eggs do souffle up a little bit as well quickly wash up there A little bit more of this don't forget to leave some just so we can put it across the top to glaze my pastry probably be enough in there and the rest like I say this will souffle up so if it looks like it hasn't got enough in then I wouldn't worry too much about it now I've got um, silicon brush so all I'm going to do is go around the edges, just so both pastry stick. All right, and then we'll just bring this one over to there, just gently. press that down and then we use a knife now these bits are coming out a little bit so I'm just going to cut that there there we go you can make cheese straws out of the leftover pastry my nana whenever she used to do a pie she used to make jam tarts with them put these into like a cupcake um, mold and put some jam in the middle and cut the, and cook them in the oven beautiful absolutely beautiful should never waste a thing my absolute hero she was right and then what you do just go round crimp it all the way around again 
my nails probably won't do this justice should have maybe cut them before I started doing this but it is what it is just keep going around like that all the way around Cut a bit too much off that bit, but hey ho, so there's what I now I'm gonna do a little cross in the middle. Just let anything, any of it steam come out. There we go. And the rest of this across the top and you can see the still see the bits of pepper and stuff in there as well so you know even the egg wash is seasoned so like I say I've got the oven on at about like 175 to 180 I'll check this after about 20 minutes um, see how it's all looking and if it needs a bit more time it needs a bit more time it's a thing we're cooking just cook it till it's done if you follow a recipe and it tells you to do it no longer than this amount of time walk away right I think that's about as much as what I need what I could do is put that in the fridge and let that glaze harden and then use the rest of that but I haven't really got time so I'm just going to put this in the oven now straight in on the middle shelf set the timer for about was it 30 minutes I said yep yeah. and what I'll do is I'll clean up I think what I might do is I might freeze that make some little pies or something or Maybe get some jam and do some jam tarts. Would you like that, guys? Just let us know if you'd like that. Then I can do that. I've already got the pastry. Right, so just wrap that back up again. And then I'm going to have a good clean down. Get rid of the rubbish. Oh, I didn't do that very well. Get rid of the rubbish, the eggshells and all of that. And then in 30 minutes, we'll come back. Right, so I did give do the half an hour, then I turned the um the oven up a little bit because it wasn't browning and did it for another ten minutes. So that's the pie just coming out there. I'm just gonna let it rest on here. Probably about ten minutes before I take it out of the pan, just so it'll actually settle up itself. But it's looking very nice. Me opening closed up. Right, so I've given that about 10 minutes, it's still warm, but I don't want it to sweat on the bottom. So what I'm going to do is, it's because it's a loose bottom tin, I'm just going to do that. <coughs> and then get my spatula underneath, all the way across, pick it up. there for now get rid of that this is not a pie that you eat warm so i'm just gonna pop that on there and let that cool right down very very flaky pastry as you can see but that's what makes it nice so when i'm about to have something to eat i will bring you back hiya right it's cooled right down now so i'm just gonna get a bit I have this corner bit here. It's a nice crumbly pastry. I think I've gone through a bit of bacon there. It doesn't want to let go. There we are. Look. <coughs> I 
There we go. Bacon and egg pie. Get a fork, have a bit of a taste, and I'll go off and enjoy this. So I've got a bit of the, the egg I've put in there. Just gonna bring it up. Hmm. the bacon mm. excuse me but it's really really nice so what I want to do is I want to go off and finish this off thank you very much for watching guys see you in the next one